Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright, everybody. Uh, that's not the way you say it. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Anyhow, Artie and Marty are back. We are on day two investigation for Turnabout Samurai. A, a lot happened in the last episode, but most of it was just the old lady talking. Yeah. And she got arrested at the end. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. October 18th, Wright and Company Law Offices. Whew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick! Say, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer. Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here then? Let's get to the studios! But let's talk first. What to do? Any ideas? <laughs> what do you think we should do? But what do I- HUH?! Why don't we do what you just said?! We gotta get the scoop on the disc director and producer. Oh, right. Then there's no point hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studios pronto! Any ideas? Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. Oh, boy. Oh, actually, wait, we can present stuff to Maya. Well, let's present. Hey, see this? You really like showing that thing off, don't you, Nick? Oh, wait, wait. I think we've already seen that. Yeah, we yeah. have. Uh... Joel Powers. You know, what if this really was Mr. Powers? Yeah, it's hard to say. We don't really know anyone else could, it could be. I seriously doubt it was that old windbag. So Mr. Powers is lying? He really doesn't seem the type, does he? Curiouser and curiouser. I wish I had my own samurai spear! You'd be my own personal pincushion, Nick! Me? Why me? All right, I mean, I think... she doesn't really have anyone else. I know, but why does she have to stab us? October 18th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP! Do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. T sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. I can't tell if he's crying or sweating. Um... Or both. I think he's sweating, because the tears would be beneath his eyes, those are to the side. Well, some people cry sideways. Do, uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. That security lady's pretty strict with them. But, in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run-through? yes Yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before?! W well just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this! I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar! When he loses, he's going to lose big! Uh, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? <laughs> you aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? N no I sure hope not. That kind of makes sense, though, that you'd have to keep quiet about it. If not it's like, for a murder trial! <laughs> okay, I don't know. I, I, it, I, I don't know. Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that, whatever it is. I wish I could think of some way I could help you. S sorry. <laughs> we found this card key in your dressing room. Oh, that's mine, yes. Can people outside the studios get these cards? I don't think so. Even I have to return the card. Once the show's done filming, that is. Hmm. 
Regarding this photograph... Yes? This really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? Right. I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. But who else could have worn it? Your costume was in your dressing room? Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? Do you have any theories on who did it? On who did it? It has to be someone big enough to wear the costume. I don't know how tall he is. He's he... he's a big guy. How old is he? I don't know. I think he's mid-20s, actually. Mid-20s? Okay. So, like, the, uh, the good age for a movie star. Mm -hmm. Regarding the murder weapon... Yes? Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Turns out that the backstage lady is secretly ripped and he killed him. <laughs> hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through? Oh yes, I goofed on a round kick, you see. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. With duct tape, we heard. I feel like they would notice, unless they do, like green screen yeah, most of, Okay, most of the time duct tape is oh, like bright blue. Hang on. Let's take a look. World powers. 23? Oh, oh wow. Young. He wear, he looks way older than me and I'm only like almost one year younger than me. Yeah. Security lady, we still don't know. Jackhammer, oh, asked. he was 37? He looks pretty good for 37. Yeah. That makes sense, though. And then Penny's 18. Penny secretly is ripped. <laughs> that's <laughs> that my theory. That would be theory. hilarious. Okay. That's, that's Marty's theory. That's not official, the main game. per se, okay. but that's October, the only thing October 18th, 2.16pm, Global Studios main gate. No one's here. Right, now that they have Miss Oldbag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station! Look, she left her donuts! What? I wasn't going to eat them! <laughs> I would've. <laughs> Assuming she didn't, like, touch them. She, how many donuts does she have back there? Like, I don't know. Dozens? Where she's just like... <laughs> <laughs> well, what else is she supposed how to How is she that skinny, that, I don't think that many people go in there. The computer that runs the security... Uh, studio security cameras. Huh? Looks like it's been turned off for the day. Ooh. Well, that's, Someone's gonna make a mm, double murder. Probably probably because Gumshoe... Maybe. ...is around. But that's really weird and suspicious. October. I swear, if someone else is dead, then it's just like, well, <laughs> you can't figure that out. October 18th, Global Studios Employee Area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh? Oh, don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I, I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on props in the backdrops, right? R right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than I, they did before I fixed them. Oh, oh! Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Old Bag. Right! See you later, then! Good luck with your investigation. With that voice, I keep having, like, way too much saliva in my <laughs> mouth, and I'm like... God. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. like... Thanks, Artie. <laughs> <laughs> So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that was the idea. <laughs> I feel kind of sorry for him, though. Don't you? What? You want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can't? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Rip it open or leave it be. I mean, to be honest, like... That is such a bad duct tape job that anyone could bust through it, so let's just rip it open. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what happens if you see that. Nah, I think we should leave it on. They only just repaired it. And if we take it off, that assistant will get yelled at by you-know-who. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, I didn't expect her to take it that hard. 
<laughs> Alright, you said rip it open? Yeah, rip it. Alright. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? Hiya! There, that should make the kids happy. The things we do. <laughs> you actually have to do that to progress oh, the story. <laughs> I'm glad I did that then. And I think that's everything in here. Because most of the stuff Let's just... Let's go to the dressing room! Yeah! October 18th, Global Studios, dressing room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh. She's got a point. I almost, like, but at the same time, like, I sleep through smoke alarms. So I Yeah, you imagine... do, which is not good. <laughs> so I could imagine if he's, like, really tired, especially if he was acting earlier. Like, if he was doing all of these fight scenes, because I've done fight scenes and stuff for plays before, and then you're exhausted, no one's going to wake you up. Like, you could go in and, like, the building would collapse and I'm still Yeah, asleep. but what if Powers didn't take a nap? He sure. only, He said he only took a nap because he's, like, he happened to feel tired that day. Okay. Well, it is, it is far-fetched. Well, that's, that's just something to keep in mind if Let's you're making your theories. Oh, wow. It, it was lagging for a little bit there. It doesn't normally do that. Oh, hello. Ho, ho! You look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Let's talk. Oh, yeah. By the way, you do a great voice for uh, Penny. Great. <laughs> so, how are the studios doing? There's police walk wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want to be disturbing the evidence. Can't talk. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah. Can you believe it? I, mean... I can't believe no one's thrown them out. I mean, like, I'm it could okay. be evidence, though. Okay, that's but I'm thing. imagining, like, flies swarming around the book. Oh, that's, that's true. <laughs> the fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think that there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. Hmm. He's probably a dude that runs fast, like... Yeah. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seems pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios in, from the blink, brink of danger and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Producer is the star of, like, every show, though. They take care of everything. Well, so. let, let's see if you think that still when we well, actually when, meet her. when we meet her. Maybe not. Um, not really sure what that is, sorry. It's my attorney's badge. Also, it could be a fingerprint cookie without the jam inside. That's like what you, I thought. Yeah, like you said. print cookie without jam. Wow, they gave a lawyer one of those card keys? Well, I'm sort of borrowing it. I see. You'd better be careful not to lose that. They're very strict about those card keys here. I guess they're pretty good about keeping these out of outsiders' hands. Thanks, I'll be careful. Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. Why is he dragging his leg like that? What is this, anyway? Looks like she didn't know about this photo or the injury that morning. Um, never mind. Say, you work with the props, right? About the murder weapon. You mean the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Why is Mr. Powers the only person I can think of? That's because, like, he's one of the only dudes here. <laughs> well, until we meet the director and producer. Well, no, producer's a girl. Who says the director's a guy? 
Oct- could be... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this game swings. <laughs> October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio Two we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today? Now's our chance, Nick! Let's check it out! Yeah, that's a good idea. Outside Studio Two. I like how it always looks like a TV screen. <laughs> October 18th, Studio Two entrance. This place is deserted. Nick! The Nick! What was that sound? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Uh, hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it! If they'll let us. I bet we're good. I love this theme. It's so atmospheric, but it fits so well. The trailer door. It's locked. The key is probably in the security guard station. Are they living in like a mobile home or something? Because, like, literally, there's, like, a garden right next to it. I doubt they'd let us borrow it. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty! They take good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Rome 2 again. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting there for quite some time. They might as well be a junkyard. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Hmm. Why would they eat their bones? <laughs> That's the real question. They were hungry. <laughs> An what are they, dogs? <laughs> an incinerator. Apparently they just put what this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. There's another tra- a trailer. Or van. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. Well, let's go for a drive! Sure, if I had a license. How does he not have a license? Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this! Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <laughs> okay, how old is Nick? I think he's... He said at the beginning he's 24. Okay, how in the world does that dude not have a driver's license? Because it's japan Okay, <laughs> if you... Okay, in Japan you don't need a driver's license as much. But still. Yeah. Like, I agree with Maya. If you're in America, you like you need a driver's license. Yes. yes. Unless you, you really live in do. like New York City. Even then. You could use a driver's license. You could use it, but like, it's hard to drive. October 18th, Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see if we can get the key from the guard station. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> I wonder if Penny's eating the all the Security dogs. guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Oh, please don't touch anything in there. The security lady would knock the stuffing out of me if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. Darn it. I think she'd be more mad about the donuts, to be honest. <laughs> you ate my donuts? What? <laughs> Why are we in the dressing room? What do you see? Who are you dudes? Who are you? Huh? Wait. Wait, you first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever we lose, how could you not know me to greet Salmonella? I'm a different show. With the Steel Samurai, mine, RTFC, with phone credits. Really? You are Salmonella? Wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just, you know, you look so sorry. 
You know, quite alright, really. It's fine, R-O-F-L. What is it? You know, a cruiser inspection? Mmm, yeah, hot, 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 slobber. Hey, did you do a lot of cosplay? Cause that costume... <laughs> 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 ah, rock source, for what? Hey, you're drooling! Huh? Mm -hmm. LOL! Puffer Overrun! <laughs> you trigger my creative powers! <laughs> yes, yes, it's coming to me, Pink Princess! The sequel to the Steel Samurai, Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo! <laughs> OOFL! LMAO! P Pink Princess? Why is it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. <laughs> so yeah! For a sec, I thought he was a computer. And then <laughs> <laughs> This is the director. <laughs> oh! Well, hello! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you twos are. That's a cute lady told you about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a rough room for an action scene in the morning. Did a meeting from lunchtime at the studio to a trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get the chance to eat lunch. Uh, uh, smell like Sprownie Emoticon. <laughs> a T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, suck sores. I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. <laughs> anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after 4 o'clock. With the producer and some big windings from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. About the producer who was at the meeting with you? Oh, you mean DeVasquez? She's a genius. Mad skills out the way. Scary though. Sweats. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make this two samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon till 4 p.m. the whole time. The bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, it's a boss over at the network and some sponsors, also a few production guys. And piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Sweats. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all great here geezers, scowl. <laughs> hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Well, that's not good. But hey dude, have you seen one of these before? I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. LOL. Why are you staring at me like that? Okay, hang on. How old is this dude? Yeah, I was about to <laughs> check that. Salmonella. 32, that's not okay, dude. Get away from She's Maya. She's 17. Get away that is, from that Maya. is not Holy cow. cool. Let's present him the spear. The card key. <laughs> nope, never mind. Whoa. This is WP, right? How do you know? Well, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. Oh, right. The director would know about the injury. He was there. Hey, look at this duct tape spear. Oh, come on! You didn't have anything to say for the Maya's like, right. did you stop let's, triggering him looking at me? Let's get out of here. Ugh. Okay, whatever the heck happened in that trailer is, like, totally done by now, I'm guessing. <laughs> someone else got murdered, it's Basically, okay. Basically! What if someone else got murdered? Aha! You again! <laughs> How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, Ripper Snapper. This old lady never forgets a slighter insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now! One, two, three! Mmm! This lady's too much. She's got the smirk. <laughs> the fanboy. Um, about that kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick! Look at her eyes! She's serious! <laughs> the director. <laughs> about the director, the one who is here on the day of the murder. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! <laughs> Nick! I 
think she's losing it. <laughs> is she still talking about the fanboy? Is she literally going to take the director down if she sees it? I think so. Maybe she also was like, that's not cool, hitting on Maya. <laughs> I have a feeling she's not going to respond well to anything I show her now. See ya. Uh, hang on, we gotta take the key. <laughs> How are we gonna get past her and her freaking donuts? The security guard station. I can also see the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching! Guess I'd better investigate there later. <laughs> oh boy. Actually, do we miss something? Hey! H hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through that drain. He looks like someone directly out of Pokemon. Hey, uh, kiddo, what's your name, sport? <laughs> Kiddio. Oh, Kiddio, what's your name, sport? <laughs> I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Uh, huh? But you, you are a kid. What a rude little brat. That's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. <laughs> hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. <laughs> I don't think that's the face she'd make with that voice. <laughs> she's gonna, she's crying there. Oh, I couldn't see she was crying. Yeah, you gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody, Cody Hackins. Call me Kitty O again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be the fanboy. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side! Ha ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last line you said about the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy! Like some fries of that! Hmm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it! What are they doing? <laughs> Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always, the Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him, I saw everything! What? But, no way am I telling you losers! What? Wait! Let me go! Wait, what if that kid saw literal murder? That would be terrible! He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he bumped it into it on his way out. A uh, bottle? Oh, never mind. A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Empty bottle slipped into the pocket. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Oh boy. Okay, I would be very concerned if he saw literal murder. Yeah, that would be terrible. Empty bottle found on the table in the employee oh, area. The label there. reads sleeping pills. Oh no. Oh no. I really hope not. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> that could be a setup. I don't know. The kid could just be lying and be like, I'm gonna make it look like this idiot did it. He should sound like Ash from Pokemon. Pikachu! I, I don't want to do Ash Ketchum's voice. <laughs> Actually, that kind of fits perfectly. It Never fits mind. perfectly for it. <laughs> huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. No kidding. Hey! Nick, that was her. S Stop! Whippersnapper! Oh, probably the little kid. Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. <laughs> that would hurt if you're old. I don't know how old she is, though. No one does. Hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance! Let's check out the guard station! Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Trailer key slipped into your pocket. I'm trying to remember how much investigation we have left. Because we could either make this like a really long episode, or the next episode might be a little shorter. Is that 30 right about Yeah, now? it's at 30 right about Your now. call, man. I think we'll end it here. Thanks oh. for watching, everybody. I'm Connor Flaherty. And I'm Marty. Tune in next time. We'll be finishing up the investigation period. If it's really, really short, we can even go a little bit into the trial period. All right. And that should be able to be split up very nicely. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again. Have a great day, and God bless.